Hey fam, Vince here from Transfer Express, and today we're talking QR codes. Yeah, those fun little scrambled barcodes you see almost everywhere these days are a great way to easily link to your website or social media from anything in real life. Yeah, we all know they're great to pull up the menu at your favorite restaurant, but who said you can't put them on t-shirts? Well, buckle up and we'll find out how to do that. If you're new to Transfer Express, we're the world's largest supplier of screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help you grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this every week. QR codes on printed apparel are just packed with so much marketing potential for you or your customers. From linking to your brand's website, to social media, or pretty much any content, you can print them on the front of the shirt as part of the design, or easily link your website on the inside tag for repeat business. Really, the sky's the limit. For promotional shirts or events, you can make the QR code large as the main part of the design to spark curiosity. Events, link the schedule right on the shirt for easy access. Printing for bands, link their music right on it too. You really can get creative with this. But before we go to print, we'll need to create a QR code. Luckily, there are a few different free QR code generators out there with some services even tracking how many clicks or scans your code receives. If you're real digitally inclined, you can even set up tags to track in Google Analytics, but we've got more on that over on our blog. We've got it linked down in the description below. Once you have your QR code all set, you can upload it to the EasyView Online Designer to add to your gang sheet. Next up is choosing the right transfer type. This is important to note as the size you need the QR code printed may determine which transfer type you need. QR codes need clean, clear, defined edges to scan. So at smaller sizes, screen printed transfer inks may not be clear. You should keep your QR code larger than an inch and a half for the best results with our goof proof, hot split or elastoprint transfers. However, our digitally printed full color transfers like our Ultra Color Max or Ultra Color Pro are perfect for pretty much any size. Even the smallest size we tested here at just half an inch by half an inch scanned perfectly. It also helps to have the white behind the QR code too. It helps with the contrast so your phone recognizes it quickly. But without it, we had pretty good results too. Now we need to mention file types too. While PNG or JPEGs of QR codes will work fine for all the transfer types, try to use a vector format like SVG when you're using screen printed transfers. This will help save some money on your transfers and ensure your QR code scans after being printed. Even printing QR codes on apparel is super simple. Here, we'll use our Ultra Color Max transfers that apply on almost every type of apparel. All right, now we're back here at our Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20. I'm gonna take a 50-50 shirt here and we're gonna print on two locations. We're gonna go on the back collar and we're gonna go on the sleeve. I'm gonna show you how to do both of these. We've now cut out our Ultra Color Max direct-to-film transfers. So now it's time for us to thread our shirt onto the heat press. With the caddy stand, it makes it really easy to thread these shirts on. We're gonna go with our back placement first because that's gonna be the easier of the two. Then I'll show you how to do the sleeve. Okay, so when I load it on, I just wanna make sure my collars and seams are off the press. And then we wanna line it up for the collar. Next, we gotta make sure our heat press time and temp are set. So we're gonna set it to 290 degrees for our Ultra Color Max and a 12 to 15 second press time. Now I'm gonna pre-press my garment for five seconds to get the moisture and wrinkles out of the t-shirt. When you pre-press, you can check the pressure. You wanna be in between a five and a seven for Ultra Color Max on the pressure. Now that we're pre-pressed, we're gonna take our Ultra Color Max transfer that we cut out, and we're gonna place it about two fingers down from the back collar in the center. Our transfer is placed. I'm just pulling this tag out just because I don't want it to get uh, obstructed, obstruct the pressure or anything. Take one final check. Now we're gonna press it for the 12 to 15 seconds that is required for Ultra Color Max. We're gonna peel it hot. And it comes off beautifully. 
Now we're gonna do our sleeve. Now the way I recommend to do the sleeve is either by using a full heat press like this and swapping it out with the Hottronics legged sleeve platen. It makes it really easy to thread it on and apply on our sleeves. Or if you have a hat press like the Fusion IQ 360, it makes it really easy to apply your sleeves as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove our quick slip pad protector because otherwise, if I try to do a sleeve, it's just gonna fall off. So I'm gonna remove this to get a little more friction. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little cut up mouse pad, which fits our QR code, and I'm gonna lay the mouse pad right in the center of our sleeve. So what this is doing is it's elevating my printing surface so I have a nice smooth flat even pressure and I don't have to worry about obstructions from the other side of the sleeve. Okay, now that we've pre-pressed, it's time to take our Ultra Color Max transfer. We're gonna place it about two fingers up from our seam. So I can see that we're nice and centered. And now we're ready to press for that same 12 to 15 seconds. Hot peel for Ultra Color Max. Apply just as beautifully. And now we're basically a walking billboard. We got our back collar print and we got our nice sleeve. That's it. As you can see, it's really easy to put QR codes on your apparel and the marketing potential for you and your customers is totally worth it. Thanks for watching here on the Transfer Express YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the helpful educational and inspirational videos we're posting every single week. But until next time, I'm Vince. Happy pressing for the last time in this studio.